Hey, what's up, you guys? Man, you guys are fast. You guys are fast. It's 11.30 in the morning right now, and I'm sketching. What's up? How's everybody doing? Uh, wow, we already have people here. And, and yeah, I thought I'd just start sketching for you guys. Um, I'm working. And, um, and, um, and um, let me pause this real quick. What's up, Naoki Kawaii and the Burn Burn Bull? Just like two people right now, which is awesome. Um, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. So what's going on? I have to finish this sketch in thirty minutes. Um, I'm working on this guy here. His name. Hold on. Where's the keyboard? Oh, yeah. Drop that on the floor. Okay, so what's going on is, um, as you know, I'm working on these characters um, for the month. And um, I have a lot to do. So I've broken down my scheduling so that I work on every character um, for three hours. And I'm um, working on this guy. He's an archer. I'm not going to say names or anything like that. Um, just going to keep it kind of anonymous let's go to a little, let's do a little breakdown I'm gonna actually I'm gonna actually talk about uh, drawing this time around I think I think um, I had I had something else on my mind to talk about like I think it was about um oh it was a question somebody posed about um, how to stop negative thoughts um, so should I do a drawing breakdown or should I talk about negative thoughts and blocking out those negative thoughts? Or should I do it next time? Yeah, draw with me, Naoki. Cool. Uh, thanks, Naoki. Um, what's going on, Isaiah Thompson and Maxin? Um, Maxin, you're leaving already. <laughs> okay, so so yeah, those so those are two uh, topics I can talk about. Um, because somebody asked about how to block out negative thoughts and I actually take I actually, I actually think about this a lot like the techniques on how to block out negative thoughts and I have a lot to share with you but I also can do um, just like stick stick um, strictly with the drawing because I was just at John Silva's stream if you guys don't know John Silva go check him out on Twitch John Silva he's an awesome dude um and I still need coffee. My voice is all crackly. Crackly. I think I'll just I think I'll just focus on the drawing. Actually, man, it sucks because I I learned that if I don't focus on the drawing, I actually do a little better. Um and just like kind of let my mind just wander. Uh so right now I'm working on this dude and as you can see I have like these little thumbnails on the left. Um I exploded it, made it larger. And I put some detail on top of him like this. And this is my process that I'm developing for myself currently. It's a new process that I'm working on. Um, just to speed up my my drawing a little bit. Um, and not really drawing, um, but idea, ideation, idea building, concept making. Um, so listen, guys, I have, again, uh, 30 minutes left on this clock for this guy. So exactly 12 o'clock for me, um, that's 30 minutes. I will end this stream. So let's see how I do. So first thing I do is I block in John Silva. Yeah, John Silva streams, man. John Silva, check him out. He's a legendary character. He just finished a stream. It was a great stream. I don't know how long it went for. I think maybe three hours, two hours. So after the show, you guys run over his his uh his Twitch. He's on Twitch. Oh. Um. But yeah, I don't. I don't. Um. I don't plan on making this stream um, 
too uh too focused on um the crap <sighs> um like a full on breakdown but I will talk about um some of the things that I do while I do it and wherever wherever I I complete or finish that's where we end up okay so thanks so much you guys for joining thanks so much I actually was not planning on streaming today because I'm afraid of not um working fast enough but I guess this is good practice if I uh if I stream and work and plus 30 minutes isn't that long I need some water and some coffee but I'm running out of time so I can't go get it Naruto game is already released right I don't even know <laughs> oh uh. yeah John just messaged me. I'm like, John, this is like marathon mode right now. Like, I can't. Uh, Marty. Rick. I, 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 I can't draw. I can't talk. I have to draw Morty. I love John's uh, Rick and Morty accent. So, I mean, impersonation. It's hilarious. He does a good Rick and Morty. Crap, just when I don't have money. I only missed your last stream because I was at aunt's funeral. My phone was dead. I swear that the pun wasn't intended. I'm not this, that sick and twisted. You mad, bro? It's all good, man. I'm sorry to hear you about, about your aunt, man. Another, another chapter closed, ended, finished, complete. So, as you can see, I'm just filling in a solid silhouette for for this dude here. Going to give me a clear idea of his shapes. Notice, notice how scribbly, um, notice how scribbly all the, um, the lines are. That was intentional. See? Oh, I learned a lot seeing you, Jet. Thanks, Daniel. Daniel, buddy. Great. Yeah, keep watching it, man. Keep watching and learning. You don't need to go to art school or anything. Everything is on the internet. It's crazy. So block it in, block it in, and then the next stage would be to um say my voice is so crackly. Um expand on the silhouette. So let's see what we can do with this. So the silhouette right now looks pretty bare. If you look at this guy over here, um so the pressure is pretty high because I I feel like he is pretty successful. Let's see if I can do the same thing again. It might not even change the armor. It might even just keep it similar. Um, but it is supposed to be a hunter, dude. Hunter character. Okay. Oh, six minutes already gone. So we have... We have... Ah. The sketch, which is the little guys. Got a little that's pretty much focusing on poses and generating like random lines and stuff and armor not random um a general direction and then we we fill them up and then what we're gonna do now is put some detail over everything with the opaque um 
an opaque brush. Now this part is kind of tricky. It is kind of tricky. What we do is actually no, let's work on the on the silhouette first because I'm not happy with these silhouettes. So we're going back under. Um, I want them to be cool. You know, he looks. It doesn't look quite too cool yet. Maybe beef him up a little bit. This pose doesn't really look too uh, too archery. Archery, yeah, yeah, that's a word. Thinking about like these snow snow boots kind of deal. See, just, just by drawing these shapes down, I'm able to kind of, just a silhouette, kind of make up what's inside it, what's in between. <sighs> Welcome to the Jetty Jet Show, Raphael. That's right. I don't know if I like that. Oh, that's what's causing the, the color to bleed. I'm using a felt pen. <sighs> so, working on the silhouettes. Let's see. Pop this out a little bit like this. See that? Giving that extra layer. So I cannot draw this character straight out of my head for sure. It's just layers and layers of, of, of uh, idea building. Shoulder. Looking kind of weird like that. So I'm like, do I like the silhouette? That's my, that's my, dang it, felt pen. It's my main concern right now. See, I thought that was maybe too high up there. So I just dropped in. This side too, maybe it's a little bit too high. And his arm cape kind of it's kind of getting lost in that cape so let's just keep this kind of motion see how this goes this way and then it curves back this is the importance of silhouettes got to make sure it follows that it follows through with that line okay something like that this pose is more like ah, come and get me I'm here. I'm here. Come get me. Yeah. We want more of a. Hunters are kind of known for being more stealthy looking. So right now I'm using everything within my arsenal to create this guy. I got these dark lines coming in. Doesn't matter. Actually, it matters. It actually matters because now I can see the uh, the arm better. Just trying to, again, identify these shapes. Stronger shapes. Stronger shapes. Okay. Yeah. I guess it's okay to not talk about... Uh, we'll talk about it next time. Okay, so what happened with, uh, with, with the uh, daily stream thing? Um... Yeah, I figured um, a lot of information was was getting out too fast, um, 
and I think I need more more space because this is for work. And um, dang, it's dark. Is there no in between? I need some space in between episodes so that you guys aren't like given every single character. Um, yeah. So this is how I build rough drafts. Um, skill point, you have a tough time drawing. Um, skill point says he has a tough time drawing thumbnails. I I did too. I did too. I struggled a lot. I mean, just like with anything, it just takes practice. But they my my thumbnails were were really terrible. I mean, they were like this. I can do it right now. I was doing thumbnails like this at one point. This is my thumbnail. No joke. This is my thumbnail back in the day. But even with that, you can take you can take it, blow it up, and turn it into something really amazing. Like it can be just a weird looking crazy dude. Just just fill in the um weird looking slender man kind of thing. Fill in the uh the silhouette with some value and see what you can get out of it. In these sh you can get a lot. You can do a lot just with basic thumbnails. Um, I suggest learning, um, practicing some figure drawing. Figure drawing. And looking at references, looking at uh, successful shapes and character design. You know, you could even like look at some concept art, cut it out, and just um, paint. A silhouette around them and see how how their silhouettes are but everything really is is only for me to serve as a as a a guide everything's just a guide it's not nothing is to help no, nothing is is a final like product say until so right now I'm doing um, something slightly different from the last one. I'm actually putting more lines down. I do like these kind of line um, straps around the legs here. I guess I can give you guys details about him. This guy controls. Controls wolves. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, fifteen more minutes. Let's see what I can do in fifteen minutes. So really, let's focus. Okay, so in the uh, that's it. That's my silhouette. I I think that's it. Um, crap. Is it? Is it? Is it it? Is it? No, no, not yet. Let's get let's get the let's get that feather thing going on. I like that. Kind of um like that. Now is it done? See how I break the silhouette just by doing that? See how messy that looks? It doesn't really say much. It's much stronger when it's just simple. This is breaking the silhouette right here up here, the feather area. But you want to keep that that kind of shape language minimum. Otherwise, it starts getting really messy. Like It's really chaotic here, but we have like kind of simple, uh, simplified clear, sh clear shapes down there. Um, and little, little bumps, little, little bumps here and there says says a lot it says a lot just adding a little bump will say a lot yeah and it'll all make sense um later on not even immediately <laughs> maybe the next stage let's see let's go all right so next stage going over see how it's 
see how it's um, lines and then silhouette underneath. Now, if I were to do another layer above it and go details above this, I still have the lines blocking me. And it, it has an effect. It has an effect to an, an extent. But you still leave the lines underneath. I mean, the lines still kind of fall over it. So what I've done is I'm going to paint directly over it. Picking and choosing the values that are there and raising it. It's going to help me again. Just come up with some quick ideas. And it's a more painter, painterly approach. So I'm filling in the shapes. Again, not too sure what I'm going for yet. Just trying my best to make, make up stuff that looks interesting. See the silhouette here? See how I popped it out over there? I'm going to try to turn it into something. See, small, small, big, big, small, small, big. So I'm doing. So I'm thinking about shapes and at the same time um, value. Value will help me define uh, structures. And light will help me define the form of the structure. It's a stiff arm. It's whatever, man. Just try my best to design these shapes. Maybe some dark values in there. Yeah, let's just block in some dark values first. So now I'm focusing on what the eye sees first, and that's those big old strong um, dark values. What are you guys saying? Oh my god, 10 minutes. I got 10 minutes. Ah! Can always break those silhouettes after I mean those dark shapes afterwards. Just like that. See how that says like, oh, that may be a belt or something. This shape right here is bugging me because we already have a line that does that over there. So I have to be slightly different, see? Always playing around with these shapes. Yeah, I'll block this shape in here like this. Don't worry about the lines. Don't worry about them. You can make them again and then pop it out. And I'm gonna paint in the back the background. Instead of erasing, I'm just gonna paint white. Because this is again a rough draft. Not a final. A little nose and a little symbol of a nose. Something about him is seems a little too top heavy. So I'm gonna 
knock these back a little bit. I know it's a little. This this this, this uh tutorial is a little bit more complicated. But again, I'm just I'm just working. <laughs> Ooh, I like this. Yeah. Listening to good music. What I just need now is coffee. Ooh, man. Mm hmm. I totally lost the. Uh, there it is. Okay. What's up, Chris, Toby? How you doing, man? Okay, you guys are talking a lot amongst your, each other. Good. See how I just cut through that shape right there with um, a mid value? Not quite too dark and not quite too light, but in between. Let's do more straps. Let's do another strap here like this. I want him to have more armor. So we put it on like this. More armor means, does it mean drawing more over the guy and say, more armor? They can. It can. But what I think means more armor is break, um, adding more to the silhouette. Well, that's one. That's just another way, yes. It's not the only way. really crap so crazy cool music from um from youtube it's not k-pop it's actually from john silva's stream and that's just it's just a playlist uh gazo you guys ever heard of gazo Go check him out some good stuff Ah, uh, whatever. Oh my god, five minutes? Already? That was fast. Get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> Which one do you guys like better? I don't know. I I actually like them pretty much equally. Can't choose right now. Mhm. Mm Is there some armors? Armor, should I give him a belt? A belt? No, I don't like that belt. I don't like the belt. No belt. No, oh, what the heck is this? It's me and my demos. <laughs> Client's gonna be like, what the hell is this? What are all these arrows doing here? Kind of character design is that? See, if I'm not sure what with with how the hand's gonna look, I just fill it in. I fill it in with a a tone. And then I close my eyes and I say, "Well, okay, this is kind of what I see in my head." I close my eyes while I draw. <laughs> I just close my eyes and take a deep breath and hope that the drawing fills itself in. <laughs> I need some uh, coffee to wake up. I know. 
<laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. This is behind or the front? I don't know. I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> Close my eyes. Close my eyes and go to the corner and hide and just curl up. <laughs> And come back and be like, oh dang. Magic. Mm -hmm. Uh okay, so Gray Blood says bigger hood may be cool. Bigger hood may be cool. Let's do it. Let's do it, bro. I just I just thought maybe this guy, he's gonna have his hair showing. No, nah, I think uh, I think I think not really bigger, just a different shape. Because any bigger, it's gonna make him look like a really big head. So watch, just by changing his shape, and then shrinking his head, will pretty much in, in in essence translate to bigger hood. You feel me? And then we can put his hair in here like this. Nope, we can't. We can't. We can't. We need a brighter color. Uh. I am the hunter. I will hunt you. I know I said no belt, but... Okay, so uh, one minute left. Um, What am I going to do? Am I going to keep drawing? You know, I'm really, 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 really tempted to keep drawing, and I think I should. I think I should. Oh my god. My mom brought me coffee. Yes, she got coffee for me. Oh dear. Oh, and I'm clicking on the wrong keyboard. So she has coffee for me. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take coffee and go for 10 more minutes. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a little something. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. I'm going to turn off my sound so that you guys can't hear. I'm back. Man. Do I still play basketball? Wow. How did you know I played basketball? You've been following me for a while. Um, do I play basketball anymore? I like basketball. I haven't played basketball in a long time. A long, long, long time. I think he needs more... Yeah, more pouches. Because he needs these pouches. Be 
because because he's got to feed his dogs. Okay, let's put the belt. The belt and pouches work. Belt by itself kind of looks weird. Yeah, mom is mom is super awesome, isn't? Isn't she? Goodness, I didn't even know she, like why she was at the door. I have my earphones on. And she pops in with a, with the uh, coffee. I'm like, what? What? I was just talking about that. Um, how did I get my first job? My first job, um, was really through DeviantArt and my own just regular drawings, my own personal drawings. That was my first job. Pretty insane, huh? I mean, considering I applied to like, everywhere? Everywhere? I didn't get a single job, and I just waited, and then I said, let's just spend my time doing YouTube. Um, back in the day, I was like, might as well just teach drawing and do what I love to do. I, I really do like teaching. So I started teaching, um, and in the meantime, I started getting work through, um, through DeviantArt. They just liked something they saw, and they're like, "Hey, do this, do this drawing for me, please. Can you do one? Can you do, can you do a set?" I'm like, okay, I do a set. Can you do more? I'm like, okay. And little by little, I started getting more and more clients on top of each other, like back to back. And um, I also use this thing called Elance um, to get some work. Small. Small jobs, not, not, not anything like super, super big, but it paid the bills for sure. Um, yeah. So I said 10 more minutes, it's gonna be, currently it'll be in five minutes now, okay. Okay, so last stage, last step. Um, applying some highlights down will go a long way. As you can see, is there some brighter Highlights here. Ah, where'd it go? Ah. And you can just go in and kind of paint through the drawing from the top to the bottom. Another way I like to do it is just hit the areas where you know there's going to be some light, like this, throughout your drawing. Um, and you'll see the effect it does. It'll tell you like where the highlights are throughout the entire drawing and gives you something to work with faster too instead of sticking there. Um, working on a drawing um, like little by little, this is kind of going through the whole drawing. Um, and working in kind of like a, a circle around in a whole entire um, sequence because you have the uh, you might risk getting stuck at any point in the drawing say like say like just a belt like oh how's that belt look and you might sit there and try to polish the, the highlights on the belt and you might get stuck there so a good trick is just just go through your drawing put these dots down um, and already it's like a it's like a second layer of uh, completion. Um, another thing is putting these dark lines through will also help. Once you're at this stage, you can put cut 
like these cut lines or um, uh, there's a, there's a proper term for it. Um, uh, panel lines, yeah, kind of panel lines. It also help you um, define structure too. And what what what's the thinking behind panel lines? Try to think about the structure and the shape of the direction. Am I gonna just do a straight line like this? If it helps better, like tell me how the structure is. Do it. So every every line you make kind of has to say something. I did the line like this on the knee because it helps me say like it's rounded and it it goes across this way. That's why you know like um, the seam seam lines seam lines on like jeans and 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 outfits and stuff. They're really cool when they um when they're done right. So I'm gonna follow these lines. So not too much. It's not too complicated. Follow these lines. See. And then you can kind of expand on them little by little. Let's block this out. Too much, too much light. <sighs> oh, yeah, coffee. Get the coffee. Get the coffee. Mm -hmm. Let's cut it here. I'm making this arm thing bigger and bigger and bigger. Maybe I should make it too much bigger, yeah. About to make a mistake here. Pushing bigger and bigger. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm whispering. I assume you guys can because you guys haven't been saying anything. It's still not giving that effect that I want for the uh, the glove. I'm really like thinking about those really bulky falcon um bird uh, trainer gloves you guys know what i'm talking about they're huge and i'm thinking about something like that um yeah so i'm just putting these big old random shapes look at that big old bolt let's just go bold what happens See how these little, little ones are kind of just all over the place? But if I go, boom, our eyes can see what's going on. And then we can try to... When I... When I can't... I can't produce what I'm thinking or feeling, it's frustrating. And I'm sure you guys have been through that. You're like, there's just something about what I want but I can't do I hate that but when you do get it I love that <laughs> I love that and gotta break gotta break the silhouettes See how it went past the silhouette? And it's kind of tangenting with the arrow. Let's change that. Ah! I'm going a lot longer than I expected. So that's okay, because I love you guys. Okay. So. So there's two ways of looking at concept art. There's one there's one school of teaching where you're going for the practical sense and the other for the um, design or visual sense. Are you designing it so that it makes sense in every way possible or so that it's visually appealing? Or both. Try to do both. Well, uh, thanks, Cosmic. Uh, you can hear me loud and clear. See, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's a response that I'm looking for, man. You are the man. Yeah, this is for a game. This is for a game. And I'm taking you guys on my little 
journey of creating the characters for the game. Uh, see how I'm forcing this thing here? The arrow wants to go over there, but because it <laughs> the canvas ends, I'm like, I'm like, nope. Let's scoot them on over. Uh, all right, so that's that. And now we don't really need the highlights, the highlight, high, high, like high highlights, but because basically the design is done. Like this is the design that I need for for the next stage, and that would be to to draw some lines over it. And before I would go through the lines look really rough. Um, but now I use this technique where I just um, go just do the finish lines right over this. And that takes a lot of practice. Um, that that's that's something that really complicated to do. To draw to draw finish lines over this sketch. Um, yeah. It's pretty difficult, um, but you can learn it. It's you can learn it, and I can do it. I'll show you guys, but not this time around because I won't have enough time. So that the design is pretty much done. Like all the shapes, all the ideas that I want to put down are there. Um, thinking about just shapes and. Like the lighting is, it comes second. It really is not important. That's what I was saying. These highlights are just to help punch it out even more. But at this stage, they're good enough to go. Because if I'm eating into my time, it's just going to cost the client a little more. And I don't want to, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. As long as they can tell what it is and have two to choose from. What if the one that I'm working on isn't the one I choose, and I spend like even more time than the one that they chose? That's happened before. Um, it's a matter of just their preference. So, right now is is what I'm talking about. Just punching out these lights. And this might this might have an effect on the decision making, which isn't good. Maybe they're choosing it based off of the lighting and not and not the character itself. I I have faith. Um, the people I'm working with have they have great taste. These are their ideas, by the way. The programmer's idea, actually. He is an amazing, amazing, amazing dude. Awesome ideas. Making working for them so so fun. I mean, everything about the characters and ideas. I, I can't complain. Come on. How can I complain? I mean, look look at the. I mean, so it's it's great. It's great. Um, so if I do that with this guy, the lighting. You saw how I just hit that light right there, and I punch punched it up. I'm not gonna go like super crazy and and do the whole entire thing. I just I just hit the area, the top area, and there's some sort of uh, light source now. So if I do this one, I have to do it for the other guy too. Right? Oh, see how that, that was just too much. All right, now I'm getting too detailed. All right, let's go over here to this guy. And it also sets a standard for your drawings. If you do one one drawing a certain level of detail, they're gonna expect you to do that every single time, and it's not their fault. That's what you want to do if you want to set a standard for yourself, a certain level of quality that you stick to every time. It just shows that you care and not like. You're not just doing it just 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 to get it done or get paid, but you do it also because you actually care. So 
So, as you can see, if you zoom in, everything is super messy. Uh, so, so messy. Um, this is supposed to be a scarf. But if you, if you pull out and it's kind of squint, you're like, oh, that's a pretty finished drawing. No, not really. <laughs> Same with inks. People like to uh, like to say, or like to ask, "What? How do you do the ink so clean? How are you so clean with your inks?" I'm like, they are not clean. They're they're just they just convey the message well. So, okay, I'm getting too complicated. Too 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 caught up in that. Um, that's about it, guys. Thanks, thanks a lot for everything and uh, joining me today on this wonderful day of drawing. Um, so, if you guys can like give me your last thoughts, this will be it. So yeah, today was kind of um, focused on the drawing. Uh, Yep, that's it. And now I'm done with this. I'm gonna move on to the next character. Uh, it it's it shouldn't be too finished. You want to just give them enough so that they can pick because you don't know which one they're gonna pick. And what if you end up working on one so long and you're like, and I've done this before. You like dedicated more time to one because you feel like that's gonna be the one and you like it. Um, and it doesn't end up getting picked. You're like, yeah, it doesn't happen often, Ashley. Um. Like, it's great because, like I said, they're kind of on the same wavelength. Um, I'm thinking, all right, yeah, I'm done. I don't want, I don't want to, yeah, I'm going over my time. Actually, I'm over my time 20 minutes. Ah! Thanks so much, guys. We got 62 people watching today. Um, we'll talk to you guys soon. Maybe we'll, we'll follow up uh, with another episode uh, sometime this week. One more. Um, if not, we'll catch you guys again next week, okay? Enjoy your guys' day. Take care, and as always, peace.